Hello and welcome to a new series on this channel called Dream F1. This series is inspired by James Early's custom F1 on which he created an alternate F1 history from 1994 onwards, including him running and driving for his own fictional team in F1 Challenge 1990-202. You can find the link to his channel in the description below. We're gonna do something similar in Automobilista 2 though, not so in-depth, without finances, car development and fully simulated junior categories, that is what James Early did in Custom F1. Um, we're not gonna do that for now and we're gonna start a lot later because we are starting in 2022 with the new F1 regulations and two extra teams entering the sport in the new ground effect era. These ones will be the Porsche team that decides to enter F1 a little earlier than schedule and of course our very own STV Racing Formula 1 team. But more on teams and drivers in a minute when we look at pre-season testing and the expected packing order after the pre-season tests. You'll find the skins are used in the description below as well. For now, let's look at the season schedule for 2022 and of course, this one looks quite different to the actual 2022 season as well. We'll have 12 races in this season, including two returning venues and a brand new one. The season will start with the South African Grand Prix in Kyalami next month. Then we'll go to Imola, Monaco, Montreal, Silverstone and Spielberg. These were all part of the original 2022 calendar and in the second half we see the German Grand Prix at the Hockenheim Ring that will be alternating with the Nürburgring. Then it is Belgium, Italy and Japan, all like it is on the original 2022 schedule, but then we'll have a brand new venue with the Autodromo Temas de Rio Hondo that brings back the Argentinian Grand Prix after almost 25 years and the final race will be the Brazilian Grand Prix at the beloved Autodromo Jose Carlos Pace in Interlagos. I may need to say this here, this series is pre-recorded and scheduled a lot in advance, so unfortunately I can't add tracks that will be released later than early October 2022, which is when I was starting to prepare and record this season, but I can and will include newer tracks in later seasons of course. Another fact is that we won't have a safety car at the beginning of the season at least, since that may be released for AMS2 already while you're watching it, but not while I was recording it. Uh, I'm using version 1.14 if you're interested. But what we will have is full course yellows that are very similar, there will just not be a safety car on track. All of these races will be 50% races, so half the distance they'd be in real life. So with the calendar out of the way, today we look at the teams and drivers competing in this season while looking on some footage of preseason testing on the Circuito do Jerez in Spain. We were doing some practice sessions on this 4.42 km long circuit that is a popular testing venue with its 15 turns. We'll look at the exact results of this test at the end of this video. Let's first present the teams and their drivers from worst to best in the expected packing order. The weakest team is predicted to be the Williams outfit. After a promising 2021, it is back to the end of the field for the British team. But unlike 2020 and 2019, they are expected not to be too far off the other teams, so their drivers Nicholas Latifi and Alex Albon will at least be able to fight other cars. Points might be hard to come by though. This will probably be the same for the first of our new teams, STV Racing. Their drivers will be Kamui Kobayashi, who is finally back in Formula 1 after making himself a name as the overtaking of Formula 1 in the early 2010s. After almost 10 years away from the sport and a successful career in prototype racing, winning Le Mans Daytona, he will be looking forward to show that he can still do it in an F1 car. Alongside him, I will be racing the second STV racing car. We'll probably be fighting Williams most of the time, but are looking to punch a little bit above our weight as well. The next four teams are expected to be very, very close to each other, so it is hard to predict in which order they'll probably run, but what is for certain is that all of these will be battling for points, therefore, throughout the season. Weakest of the next four teams seems to be Aston Martin. The downward trend for the team of full-time world champion Sebastian Vettel and Lance Scholl will probably continue. 
from best of the rest in 2020, they'll probably struggle to score points regularly. Could this be Vettel's last season if he's fed up driving at the low end of the grid? And now, finally, some good news. Haas seems to be competitive again. The American team that brought back Kevin Magnussen for this season to race alongside young German Mick Schumacher is expected to be able to score some points again after a disastrous 2021 campaign. Next on our list is Alfa Romeo. Together with Haas, it seems that Ferrari power teams in general have made a huge leap performance-wise. The all-new driver lineup with experienced Valtteri Bottas and rookie Zhu Guan Yu will hope to score a lot more points for the team than their old lineup did in the previous season. Alpha Tauri is next in this four-car tussle for the lower midfield. They look a little stronger than the other three on paper, and with a confident and quick Pierre Gasly and a Yuki Tsunoda that is on an upward momentum after a strong end to 2021 for him, they should be able to stand their ground in a tight midfield battle. Porsche are entering the sport with huge ambitions, but they won't be battling for the title in their first season. With their driver lineup, best of the rest behind the three top teams might be on the cards though. With Nico Hülkenberg, who won the 24 Hours of Le Mans with Porsche already, they have paired an experienced driver together with promising rookie Nick de Vries, who is a Formula 2 and Formula E champion. He'll be hoping to fight for the F1 title with Porsche in a couple of years as well. Another candidate for best of the rest is Alpine. The team formerly known as Renault is still a bit behind their ambitions and they are still not able to fight for wins or podiums on a regular basis. And this probably won't change in this season either. How patient is two-time champion Fernando Alonso with them and for how much longer can he keep a fast Esteban Ocon behind? Last season, McLaren lost out to best of the rest against Ferrari. As Ferrari seems to be in the top once more, McLaren remains in the upper midfield. After tasting victory for the first time since 2012 in the previous season, they need a lot more luck to repeat that feat in 2022, as Lando Norris and Daniel Ricciardo are just expected to fight for best of the rest once more. We've reached the top three and it could really be a three-way fight for the title this season. Mercedes look weakest of the top teams, but the gap is not expected to be as big as it was in the actual 22 season. Lewis Hamilton will be hoping to bounce back after losing out to the title in 2021. Alongside him there is a new name. George Russell finally steps up after three strong years at Williams. Can these two help Mercedes to a ninth Constructors' Championship in a row? For the first time since 2013, they aren't favourites for that title. And here's the top two and it's hard to tell which one actually will be better. We're gonna go with last year's championship results and talk about Ferrari first. Could they challenge for a title for the first time since 2018 when Vettel lost out to Hamilton? Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz are under huge pressure to bring Ferrari back to winning ways. The Italian outfit is definitely expecting regular wins this season. And last, but very much not least, there's Red Bull. They've lost their engine partner with Honda and are developing the old Honda engines themselves now. For now, that doesn't seem to be a problem as they're still looking strong. Can Max Verstappen defend his world championship and can he together with his teammate Sergio Perez get the Constructors' Championship back to Milton Keynes for the first time since 2013? We will find out at the end of this season. The full testing results with the best time set of each driver are on your screen right now, but bear in mind this is only testing. I, for example, did a low fuel soft tire quali run at the end, but I don't believe many others did, so the lap times are probably not very representative and they may not reflect the pecking order I have just given you, but the order we've just gone through is taking the data we have of each car into consideration, so it should give you a little more of an idea on who has a good car and who doesn't. And there we have it, the stage is set for an exciting Dream F1 Championship. There'll be a new race every month across this year with once two races in a month, so subscribe to this channel to not miss anything. As I already said, the season will start next month with the South African Grand Prix at the Kailami Grand Prix circuit. In the meantime, you can check out my classic F1 seasons in Automobilista 2, these are on your screen right now as well. I hope 
to see you all the next time and until then, goodbye.